Today, my gourmet journey takes me to the glorious medieval center of the city of Troyes in the south of the Champagne region. I can't say no to a beer, I can't say no to a glass of red, but when it comes to Champagne, it's we, oui, we, oui, we. Oui. It is a joy to walk through the stylish local food market. I am soon attracted by the excellent Fromagerie Puyo, which has a display of all the regional cheeses, including Chaours. It is really a great cheese, the, the Chaours. It is unpasteurized milk, so it has got all the flavor of the terroir. It is superb. The Andouillette de Troyes is the most well-known specialty and is much appreciated by fearless French gourmets who love gutsy flavors. Christophe Thierry, a local charcutier, makes it by hand with clean pork intestine and stomach lining, seasoned with a secret mix of ingredients. Using a clothed string, he skillfully traps this concoction inside the intestine to create a sausage shape. The andouillette is then slowly cooked overnight in a broth, giving it a more appetizing appearance. Yannick, the chef from the Jardin Gourmand restaurant, likes to pan fry andouillettes and serve them with apple cider and cream sauce. It is really delicious. It is a strong flavor. Perhaps not for everybody, but it is for me when I come to France. Near the picturesque cathedral, Alexander Krumenacker, the cellar master of Saint Pierre Wine Shop, produces a unique liqueur made from stones of plums called prunelle. It's a beautiful flavor of um, almond and alcohol and perhaps a bit of honey and vanilla. Troyes is the home of Pascal Café, one of France's most decorated pâtissiers and chocolatiers. Mm. Piedmont Noir, that's the name of the chocolate. Very intense, crunchy with the hazelnut. The caramel is so lovely. Possibly one of the best chocolates I've ever tasted. His range of éclairs is stunning, and many of his cakes, including his artistic Paris 3, have his famous praliné as the main ingredient. Pascal's shop is a gourmet heaven. Tomorrow we are in the great region of Burgundy, so famous for its wines and its gastronomy.